Hi, I am Paulo Rodrigo Pacola, dermatologist, most micrographic surgery, and teacher of dermatology in residence at Hospital Universitario Giulio Miller. And the article is Chemotherapy Treatment of Basal Cell Carcinoma with Bleomycina via Microinfusion of the Drug in the, into the Skin. We know that basal cell carcinoma has different presentations and complexities, requiring our knowledge for the best therapeutic indication for cure. For this, we are guided by the NCCN to classify stage and indicate the treatment. These are some already established therapeutic options. Although there are few cases reports in the literature where we have the improvisational use of bliamcine as effective in the treatment of basal cell carcinoma. And when compared to other drugs, Biomycin proved to be more effective in basal cell carcinoma. Considering this, we carried out the work in order to evaluate the microinfusion technique of the drugs into the skin. The big difference between drug delivery technique is the way in which the drug is delivered to the target point. In this image, we can see that the medication is distributed homogeneously and equidistantly, both superficially and in the deep. Both deep and speed can be set for treatment. And a wide variety of needles are available for your choice. Among the available machines and cartridge options, these were selected for the job. An experimental clinical trial with patients seen at the skin cancer outpatient clinic of the dermatology residence at the Julio Miller University Hospital with a clinical dermatoscopic diagnosis of basal cell carcinomas were invited to participate in this study. The term of free and informed consentment uh, was offered of all patients. All over 18 years old and who did not fit the following exclusion criteria were included in the work. We used a bliamcin sulfout diluted in a standard way, according to the manufacturer's instructions. Once the dermatoscop dermatoscopy clinical diagnosis is made, and the patient is included in the work, we performed pre-treatment biopsy for diagnostic confirmation, histological type, tumor, and biopsy thickness. After we, the treatment carried out by MMP plus bliomycin, after the patient returned in one month for evaluation of the healing result and signs and symptoms. And after six months to treat to perform a control biopsy. Uh, all lesions were the, li the limitation of surgical margins until one centimeters. 
asepsis and sterilizes surgical fields was put. Lidocaine anesthesia plus vasoconstrictor was made. Shaving of the high lesion so that the tumor area and the safety margin had the medication equality distribution. And bleomycina application via MMP. At least two applications were performed in the same place. Cartridge was replenished with bleomycina according to the absorption, tumor thickness, lesion friability, and size. About the results. The work included 32 patients with 112 injuries, but only 26 patients with 198 injuries finished the work, finished our treatment. We looked at similar distribution between low risk area and high medium risk area. This happened probably because we had two patients albinos with 32 lesions. About histological subtypes, the most common subtype in, the, in this work is the same described in the literature. The tumor thickness identified in the treatment lesion were similar to those found in the literature. The measurement used was the BG syringe which supplied the cartridge during treatment. The volume used when compared to intralesional infiltration was smaller. In the city article, up to 1 ml per centimeter square was used, which in this work we used an average of 0.02 ml per centimeter square. The results after six months were 96.9% with no residual neoplasy. Only 30.1% present a residual neoplasia. The subtype histological was two nodular BCC and one nodular scleroderm form BCC. Discussion. We have three pillars to understand the treatment. Microinfusion micro action of drugs in the skin, injectable anesthetic action, and the chemi chemotherapy action of bleomycin. About microinfusion action of the drug in the skin, we have a parallel and equidistant needle really, an homogeneous distribution of the medication. Mechanical destruction of the original architecture of the lesion. And the friction generated by the rapid penetration of these needles into the dermis creates shares stress and the turbulent swirl of the drug that increases its dermal dysfunction. Here we can observe the homogeneous distribution and permanence of the ink of the skin. In this way, the medication 
is distributed over the legend and the safety markets. Here, we can see that the solid needle used in MIMIP promotes greater deposition of medication in the skin. About injectable anesthetic action, that is, lidocaine enhances the absorption of bleomycina because lidocaine increases the uptake of hydrophilic chemotherapy agents. Chemotherapy action of bleomycin. The deficiency of bleomycin hydrolase in the skin increases the concentration and the residence time of the active form of the drug in the skin. That from this study support previous work suggesting that intradermal injection of lyomsin into normal human skin have a direct cytotoxicity effect on keratinocytes of epidermal and acne orange. Bleomycin has been shown to act around the nerve, causing inflammation. The anti-tumor activity is oxidative process where reducing oxygen and increasing free radicals, causing DNA breakage and consequent cell death. And this uh, is in sequence apoptosis and total epidermal necrosis. We look that our upregulation promoted by bleomycin indicated the secretion of pro-inflammatory cytosines in keratinocytes, superficial dermal cells, and dermal blood vessels. About patients treated in this article, this patient we haven't left pre-treatment, after one month treatment, and six months later. The other patient have a BCC scleroderm form nodule in nose, and we have and left pre-treatment after one month and six months later. This patient two BCC nodular in face. All these patients were no residual tumor in biopsy after six months. This patient has a BCC nodular in the leg and the picture on right after 20 months later without residual neoplasy. This patient has 14 lesions of BCC. One of these uh, have a residual tumor in biopsy after six months. And we did a, the, we did a surgery to correct the residual sick. This is another patient that have a nodular BCC that after six months have a residual tumor. This patient's not included in the article, but this is the first that we start the technique and to evaluate the treatment. 
This patient uh, were, who was treated in 2015, and it's clear uh, recently. This is the other patient with basal cell uh, with curry this the BCC. This is the other patient treated in 2015 and in the return in the hospital in 2022, free of the of BCC. The conclusion that this technique proves to be effective in the first six months, and that five years are necessary to consolidate the results. The inclusion of lesion in now risky areas initially demonstrated that the technique is safe and that it may be effective, especially for elderly patients. This is the article and the members of the work. Thank you.